I call this the Devil's Salt Shaker. Hi everybody, Peanmeister22 here. Look at this thing. Isn't this terrifying? Let me tell you what happened. If you remember several weeks ago, I said, hey, these salt shakers I got at Walmart, they were like two for, I don't know, $1.97 or $1.98. These will make great individual storage containers for black widows that I catch. And then after being in these salt shakers for a week, they started laying egg sacs. And we showed you this when we set up the new Black Widow tank. Well, it's a jar, but anyways, I've already showed you that part. And then I got up in the morning to make a video, and I see this. One of the egg sacs hatched already, and there are spider babies, spiderlings, demon babies, baby demons, all in this salt shaker. If you look at the top of the salt shaker, you see the size of those holes. Those spider babies could probably get out. I don't I don't see any evidence any have, but man. So these tiny, harmless, cute little baby spiders. Well, let me tell you something. They're not cute. They're not harmless. Well, yeah, they are tiny. These are demons. These, these are horrible black widow spiders. And something must be done about it. And what to do? Those of you who have been following me for years, we've always talked about when we store the Black Widows that we catch, if somebody gets out or if they get out of hand, we will implement Protocol Zero. And that's just what we're going to have to do here with the Devil's Salt Shaker. All right, we took care of it. The glass get really hot. And as you can see, as I tried to torch it, the blowback, the back pressure from inside that salt shaker kept putting out the flame. So what have we learned? We need to learn something from every video, but not just that. For everything we do in life, we should be learning something. What went well, what didn't go well, what can we do better next time? Number one, going to have to start putting a little bit of that... Uh, filter membrane you know like we did on top of the spider tanks that little filter we're gonna have to start putting that up there so spider babies cannot get out something else you may or may not have noticed I didn't mention it on purpose I want to see who noticed it let's go back and take a look again look at the black widow the adult black widow she doesn't look like she's moving for some reason it looked like she has croaked or maybe the spider babies got her because you already know that a black widow spider doesn't need a food source. She can just keep laying egg sacs and eating the spider babies. Could it be that this is such a small container, such close quarters, that when the spider babies hatched, they just overwhelmed her. They were too much, and they took her out before she could eat them. I mean, that's something to think about. All right, now in closing today just gonna let you stare at these little spider babies or how they were and you just see how cute they are and frolicking and playing and think do you want these things wandering loose in your house well I certainly don't I mean I have them but no I don't want them loose in my house so I'll leave you with that enjoy the spider babies yeah there's plenty more on the way all right so leave your comments in the comment section hey as always thanks for watching do you feel itchy I do 
Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>